Hello everybody! Today I would like to say a few words about the Reactive Stream Standard, which is upcoming standard for the JVM. Uh, Java Word was once fat and bloody, and then come the revolution. The Java 8 bring much of the syntax sugar and their biggest new cool, they are definitely lambdas and streams. But their situation when classic Java streams are unfortunately not enough. The reason for that is that first, streams are not lazy. And that means that whenever we have instruction like that, we need to wait for a accumulating of all the elements before the result will be ready. And that block the treat. True, that fact, they don't have special API which let work with them through a distributed processing network. It's a pain in the today Microsoft wor microservice world. And also, they have only push or pull way to solve a back pressure. They can be only push whenever we just pushing item after item to their accumulator function, or there can be pull whenever we get an iterator and ask each item explicitly. But we can't mix the two approach. The last reason is that they are not a specification. They are just a part of the Java core. And today, JVM is not just a Java. There are uh, many different languages that can be used interoperably, and streams are not a good solution for that. That's why a few people started a reactive streams uh, standard. Uh, what is the selling point of the reactive stream standard? The first one, streams, reactive streams, are over async boundaries. It means that they are working fine between not just different machines, but also different treats and even different uh, processor cores. And they are resolving a problem with a fast publisher and slow subscriber, uh, slow subscriber and vice versa, because each time there is no throttling in the subscriber, publisher can send data in the way, but uh, whenever subscriber know that it is slow, it explicitly asks for a request for a new data. This standard is uh, proposed by the many different popular companies, and its uh, reason for it is to make interoperability between different popular Java and JVM libraries. It contains a minimal amount of the interface needed. There are four of them. The first one is subscriber. It has just four methods. The first one, unsubscribe, has a subscription object that I will be talking about in a moment. It's a way of uh, connecting a uh, subscriber and publisher. It has on the next listener, which listen for the another events from the another items from the subscription. It has on complete listener, which are waiting for the completion of the given stream, and in heads of an error, which work like an on complete, but uh, also has an information that the issue that happens that uh, our publisher stop publishing another events. Another interface is a publisher. Publisher just has one method, and this method is taking a subscriber and create a subscription object which is used to connect publisher and subscriber. It's the only way they communicate with. Another object, like I said, another interface is a subscription. Subscription has two methods. The first one is cancel. The both uh, publisher and the subscriber can cancel a subscription. And one more is request. Each time a subscriber wants another pack of data, 
it needs to explicitly ask subscription for it. Without it, it will not acquire them. The last one is a processor. Processor is a skeleton implementation and uh, have, maybe not implementation of the interface, which have both, extends both subscriber and the publisher interfaces. The flow of the communication is that subscriber subscribe itself on the publisher. Publisher is creation, creating subscription object, emitting subscription event which is listened from the subscriber and subscription object is passed through it. Then whenever the subscriber needs another pack of data, it asking explicitly subscription through request method and whenever new item is ready, it is passed through next event which subscriber is listening on. A contract between Meton looks like that all subscribers need to be async, need to be uh, async. All the cult subscription also need not block because in the React environment we don't want to have blocking treats. And publisher is not doing more than just creation subscription. The whole communication between them is through subscription object. They don't know about each other. What's the current state of the standard? It's uh, in, highly de in the advanced development. The re last release candidate, a uh, fifth one, was to published 10th of April. The also technology compatibility kit was released, which led uh, creator of creators of the implementation to test their libraries if they are uh, good with the standard. It contains a JVM interface, which I showed, JS interfaces, for the national project and uh, instruction how network protocols should be used. So, thank you very much. I hope I get you interested in the reactive stream standard. Thank you very much. Wow.